Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Wolves Fishing here. I'm gonna do a little quick review on the brand new Shimano Scorpion DC 2021 reel. This reel was extremely hard to get. I had to get it to, from Japan directly. So that was really hard. Um, had to wait until the pre-order came out. Um, didn't really want to pay the pre-order price. Didn't have the money at the time either. Uh, but uh, a month after it came out, boom. Found a few, few places that I could get it from, um, from Japan. And uh, it literally only took three days to ship. This is the 150XG reel. This is the right-handed. I don't know if you know, if you know, but 150 is right hand, 151 is left hand for Shimano. And the XG is usually the highest ratio, gear ratio. And this one happens to be eight five to one gear ratio. So I'm gonna open this bad boy up and show you guys what's inside. It's a little weird because the part numbers um, and all the possibly directions, I don't really know what they are. Um, they don't say anything in English, but they have the Scorpion DC in, in English. Um, I don't have a problem with that, I guess, but I'm not sure if it's uh, Japanese or Chinese. I think it's Japanese, it could be wrong. I just don't wanna say it's one or the other, but that's what you get in the box. Um, and then you also get some real oil, which is always a nice thing with Shimano. They give you a whole thing, and this will last, honestly, a long time, if you ask me. Um, next, what you guys have been waiting for is the brand new Shimano Scorpion. This is the DC-21. Now, the old Shimano Scorpion DC was all black with a few bits of red on it, I believe. Um, I don't have that real. Um, I do have the Shimano Scorpion reel though, and that is just the base MGL reel. That's not a DC or anything. It's made to be able to cast lightweight lures a lot further with less inertia and uh, also being able to not get bird nests with throwing lightweight lures like a net rig per se. And this is exactly what this baby is for too. Um, you can also throw heavy stuff on it though too. There's, you got no problems with that. Um, it's a very, very nice reel, lightweight. I love this color. I'm not sure if the color is turning out exactly how I see it, but it's really silver. So if you guys know what the Crotto DC is, or Crottos, those are like a grayish silver. There's a bug here. And this one is really sil silver. So I really like that. Um, obviously you got the two red accents there on the button. The button itself, I kind of wish it was a little bit of rubber, like most Shimano reels are, or Daiwa. But unfortunately, this one is a plastic button right here. So I'm not too impressed with the button, I'll say. I will say that. Some people maybe wanted that off, maybe because it was dirty or getting dirty. Um, I've never had any problems with that, but uh, whatever. It's not a big deal. I just like that, and to me it feels more um, expensive, so quality. So anyways, the red accents on here are really sweet. Um, the silver otherwise is really nice, and uh, it's got the classic Hey Jane body. Hopefully I say that right. I really have never been told how to pronounce that. So this reel looks super sick. As you can see on the reel right there, it says 8.5, so that even tells you the gear ratio on the side of it. it. Tells you what real model is, the 150XG right there. Then it also has its little micro module saying right there, which is nice. It's got the classic star drag, it clicks, it sounds nice. I'll do that quick. So, you know, the drag sounds nice. Um, next thing, the real next thing, the real handle looks really nice too. It's like a black gray, very nice. It's got some big handles on it. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but it's got some big handles on it. Um, one thing I didn't like about the Shimano Scorpion, which is the red red one, um, I might leave that in, in the description so you guys can see what that one is if you haven't. Um, the handles on it are smaller. Some people like that. 
me, I just like the big handles, real on a fish, or just in general. I don't like handles that are closer together or small, just not my thing. But these handles, grips are a lot bigger, and the handle is bigger. Um, so the other gear ratios, I'm not exactly sure which gear ratios they were. I can't see off the top of my head, but those gear ratios, the two ones below, I think it's six, five and a seven, two to one gear ratios. Um, those handle sizes are 84 millimeters in length and this one handle size is 90 millimeters in length. So this one's a bigger handle, bigger grips for that eight, five to one gear ratio, something reeling in really fast, whether you're throwing a Texas rig frog, something you just gotta set the hook quick and reel in fast, get it out of the thick stuff or just want to reel in something fast and maybe like fast gear ratios. So, and awesome detail love about this reel is the same with the Shimano Scorpion reel. Um, I think that's a common on all Shimano Scorpions, but obviously the spool tensioner, you got that awesome Scorpion logo right there. That's super cool. A little red accent on that as well. Love that thing, love it. And then obviously the Shimano Scorpion side, it just says it right there, but super nice looking in the silver there. You know, I, you just can't beat this reel. This, I think this might be my new favorite reel. I haven't even used it yet, but. So the MGL spool upgrade actually has a little bit deeper groove in there. So it's a little bit deeper spool, casts further. Um, also, I think it might allow it to cast lighter stuff too. I'm not exactly sure, but as you can see, there's holes cut out in the spool, which make it lighter, which is very nice. And also I have tied, um, learned that you can tie braid on there without it backing. If you go through those holes, um, just make sure you don't actually go around the actual bar part of the spool because then you'll not be able to cast. But um, yeah, you can send that right around that spool there. And I've never heard of anybody having any problems putting their braid through that spool like that. Um, I don't see how it would wreck anything. Maybe some of you guys might, but I've never. So those of you who don't know, DC reels have this dial on the side here. It says one, two, three, and four, and those are just different brake settings. That Those are your brakes, basically. And this one is the first one that I've seen, and I believe this might be the only DC reel that has this. One, two, three, four, and then you got the windy setting, which is the W, that's what the W stands for. The windy setting is supposed to allow you to throw, cast your bait and stuff like that without getting bird's nests, and allow you to just enjoy your time on the water without worrying about getting bird's nests. It's supposed to help control that and slow that spool down. And obviously if you're a really experienced angler, you can figure that out yourself and dial your reel on yourself. But uh, this one here, you don't need to. And this one's kind of a good reel for beginners as well. But it's also a very expensive reel, so I'm not sure if you want to spend that money on the first one. So if we backtrack from four and then go all the way back to one, um, there's one more after that and it says open. And then that's how you open this. You click right down here, it says close. You bring that forwards and then this thing will slide right off, okay? And then you just slide this spool out if you want to. This would be for any maintenance or anything like that, but you can see how many holes there are in this spool. There's six on each side, so that's 12, and then you got a bunch around the middle. So there's a lot of holes in this spool. It's very lightweight, and it's strong as well. And this is their Magnum Light spool, um, otherwise known as like a super free spool. This is essentially what allows your spool to turn so quickly, so fast, because it's so lightweight. It's so different than many other spools. Now this is the coolest part. This is the side plate that we just removed. There's three settings here, P and F. Um, the F is for fluorocarbon, the P I believe is for PE or brighter line, and then the N is for nanofill or like monofilament and I'm going to be setting it all the way to P which is on it's on right now because I'm gonna spool it up with braid and these three settings here are just extra settings that have never been any on had never been on any other DC reels that I know of and hardly any reels have it like that in the market. Already one you got one two three four and the wind setting you have 
settings on the inside for types of line, which is insane because usually the DC reels go one through four for line types and waiting wind adjustments. But this one's got all kinds of brake settings and wind and then for your line type. So it'll be even better tuned. It's got the IDC5 logo for that DC technology. And that digital chip is exactly what controls the braking and just makes it fun and makes that awesome noise. All the other DC reels that I've had, or seen, used, tested, whatever, I've been able to get that DC sound without actually casting the reel by spinning it up here and just letting that spool spin. You can hear that DC sound. And this one, you can't hear anything, which is something I believe Shimano fixed. Not that it was a bad thing, I liked it, it was fun, but now we don't have that sound. So that is something. I believe we will have that sound when I cast it. So the nice, these big grip handles are perfect. Fits your thumb like a glove. Got nothing bad to say about this reel. I'm excited to go test it out. I have another one next to me spooled up right now. So this is the one that I have spooled up next to me right here. This is a left-handed one. So this is the 151 XG. I put 50 pound Power Pro braid on there. I am excited to go test this puppy out. So I'm gonna go set it up on a rod quick and then we're gonna go field test this reel for the very first time and see what happens and see what comes with it. All right, here she goes guys. I'm gonna put the DC reel on the Dugan Squad muscle rod. Let's see. Click in. No, oh, I missed it. Oh, she's tight. That looks good. So first off, what you're gonna do is, see the frog up on there? I'm gonna set the spool tension. So right now it's super loose. So if you're starting out with any new reel, you should start with the spool tension pretty slow, where it slowly, slowly drops and hits the water. Wow, that was, <laughs> it's still extremely loose. Okay, something like this. Or when it touches the water, the spool doesn't over spool or burden us in any way. So this is how you should always start out with any reel until you dial it in. And then when these reels come from the factory, they're always the drag is always off because when you when you store them long term, it's better for the reel to have that drag loose. That's something I learned this year. So it's loose enough. All right. And even for a beginner, I would probably set the spool tension to probably something like that fast. I want to go a little faster because I have experience. Okay. So now I set the Scorpion to, I set the Scorpion to the W setting on wind because it's fairly windy today. First cast, here goes nothing guys. I just hit a tree. Second cast. All right. Shimano Scorpion. Because the real handle was s smaller and the grips were also smaller. And I just didn't like it. It was like this. And I like to go, you know. Everybody has their own preference, but I like to hold it a little bit more. Nice. I'm not sure if you guys can hear that DC working, but boy, does it sound nice. This is me reeling in really fast. So let's make a little bit of noise that way. Some people don't like it. I do. Anyways, it's braid, so you're also hearing the eyelets with that braid. All right, so now I'm just gonna do some flipping across here. Anyways, it's this windy setting is working great. So I'm just gonna turn it down to four, see what happens there. So I'm gonna flip it this time. This is a five eighths ounce frog. Keep that in mind. It's a little heavier.
No thumb. No thumb. That was no thumb. That's on four. Five eighths ounce frog flipping. Let's see if I can uh, do that again with you guys maybe seeing it. No thumb. And was right under that tree. I'm gonna turn this down to three now. Man, I love that DC sound. That some people hate it, but I don't know, man. I love that sound. No thumb on the third setting. No thumb. And it just hit a tree branch. That was no thumb. My frog back. First setting. You guys see that? Going to number uno. Flip here. No brakes. I mean no thumb. That was no thumb. No bird's nest there, guys. I'm gonna whip it. Definitely hit thumb right there. That was just instinctively. Almost hit that rock. Across the pond. That, wow. I, I'm gonna tell you that right now, guys. I have a favorite Solus reel. That is my favorite reel for top water because that reel has ceramic bearings from spool high speed bearings and supposed to be able to cast really far that spool really lightweight supposed to turn a lot cast really far and there's no way i would have cast that far side cast like that underhand just like that no way i would have got over there and that rod's another inch longer which longer rods makes longer casts so here we go one more time no thumb this time we're gonna throw a net rig on 50 pound braid. I would not recommend doing this. One, braid, fish are gonna see it. Two, braid's hard to cast with light lures. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna throw it on four quick because I'm nervous. Okay guys, this is a eighth ounce this is an eighth ounce jig head on a seven foot five rod with 50 pound braid. First cast, side arm in it. No thumb. Oh my God. No thumb. <laughs> you guys. No thumb. No thumb. Did, did you guys just see that? thumb oh my god so this thing has a 5.5 kilogram drag which i believe is 12 12 pound drag so awesome and it's got seven bearings plus a roller bearing so seven bearings i believe the corrado dc has uh maybe five bearings and then the slx dc i think has four Either way, you guys, I have an SLX DC, I have a Corrado DC, and both of those reels, I have actually casted bed rigs on many times because I figured, why not DC reel? Let's go, let's try it out, let's see what happens. Figure that'll work better than any other bait caster I have because I don't have anything to cast net rigs at then. And boy, this thing beats them all. There's nothing like it, you just can't beat it. And I tell you what, if I need to throw a Ned Rig on a Baycaster, I'm going with Scorpion. 10 times out of 10. So one thing I didn't really mention, guys, this is the IDC5 technology, which is similar or the exact IC IDC technology that you get in the Metanium DC, which is very high quality, very expensive. Um, this is better than the Corrado DC, which they have the dc4 technology this this has the dc5 technology and if you want something that is a little more expensive 
more quality something that not everybody has that's so mainstream like the slx dcs or the crowd dc that's starting to be coming more mainstream real now um this thing hardly anybody has so if you want to get something that nobody really nobody really has different very very good quality reel they go from roughly 260 to 300 plus from where you can find them i will try to leave a description link in the description so you guys can buy this reel or look at this reel if you want for yourself so guys all in all this is an absolute insanely great reel i cannot say enough good things about this thing i will just probably be keep using this reel probably towards the end of the summer probably most of the summer most of the fall you get it i love this thing um shimano scorpion dc 21 this is it guys this is my new favorite reel love throwing it i will try to find a link and put it in the description below for you guys so you guys can pick one up for yourself stay tuned for more videos guys and more reviews tell me what you guys want to see and i'll see you next time peace